good morning Desiree. Yes, we are still waiting for the program of the memorial service, but as it is expected, as we can see even behind me, a lot of uh, teachers have also arrived as well as school learners, but we are yet to learn about uh, various officials who will make their way to uh, this memorial service. We have seen throughout uh, this week uh, since that fateful day of Sunday, uh, from Monday, where we saw the Department of Education visiting the home of the MEC of Education, Tate Mahwe, led by the Minister of Education, Mayor Nji Motecha, together with various um, MECs from uh, different provinces, from Northern Cape, Limpopo, as well as <laughs> from KwaZulu Natal, who actually uh, had to pay tribute to MEC Tate Mahwe, just talking about his contribution to the education in general, not just in the province, uh, but talking about the fact that him, as well as the Minister of Education, Minister N.G. Mutecha, both started with the Department of Education in that year of 2009, N.G. Mutecha saying that he's, he's one of the longest MECs that has served under her leadership since that year, and they really formed a long relationship to an extent that it even went on to be personal. That's we saw uh, the minister even uh, breaking down, being inconsolable, really, when she had to uh, pay his condolences to the family. But she did uh, it, it indicate that MEC Tate Mahwe, his institution, or rather his contribution, was not just in the province, but he was also assisting or working together with other provinces because we have seen um, various sectors, especially especially the sector of education, really saying that it has lost a very significant asset in the Department of Education. But we have seen also even other, the legislature also paid tribute to Tate Mahwe because he's one of the longest uh, member of that legislature since 1994. He has been that the member of the Free State Legislature, really holding various uh, portfolios, including the portfolio of agriculture, public safety as well as the portfolio of finance but in one department that he has really left a mark is the Department of Education which he started in since 2009. I've supported uh, teachers and learners here but also supported uh, Mr. Sizwing Masana. You will remember that at some point he was with NSFAS uh, just to talk to us about why he is here and who is Tate Mahwe and what role did he play in, in the education sector. Thank you very much, Ndaden Masana. Um, I see you here. What's the significance of this day to you? Well, the country and indeed the whole continent has lost one of the great people who had a huge impact in the education space. Dr. Tate Mahwe was not only passionate about education, he was passionate about young people and addressing some of the fundamental issues that we face in this country, whether it's unemployment or a lot of young people who need opportunities and so on. So to be here is about paying tribute for his life, for his legacy, for what he stood for, but also to be inspired and hopefully some of us and a lot of others will be inspired to promote and continue to pursue the legacy and things that he stood for, uh, particularly when it comes to young people, uh, because we know we have a lot of issues in our country as well as in our continent, and we need people like Dr. Tate Mahwe to continue to drive the agenda of making sure that the lives of young people are given hope, are given inspiration, are given opportunities. Did you have any personal relationship or have you worked with him closely before? Yes, uh, many times. Uh, just for instance, uh, this year we were busy with our work in the education space and therefore there are many initiatives like for instance the introduction of the new curriculum, things like coding and robotics, uh, promoting excellence, 
I was the keynote speaker at the teacher awards function at the end of last year where he invited me. So yes, we work very closely in a number of areas and I continue to work in the free state in a number of districts. You're talking about his contribution to the education sector. For someone who is in this sector, what can they take from what Tate Mahwit uh, stood for? There's so many things that we all can take from what he did, how he did it, why he did it, especially when it comes to the focus on young people on education. I mean, Dr. Tate Mahwit traveled the world looking at examples of what could be done. The fact that for more than seven years, the Free State, which is not the richest province, is actually one of the poorest provinces, came top when it comes to the metric results. It's just an indication of the kind of leadership or leader that he was, his leadership approach, and what he brought to the party in terms of just making sure that even with limited resources, we could continue uh, to really be inspiration and create pathways and opportunities for young people. Thank you very much for your time. That is Susan Masana, um, who is still in the education sector as we speak, just talking about who uh, Dr. Bule Mahwe was in the education sector, uh, talking about his contribution, not just uh, with regards to metric, but to young people as well, uh, talking about that he traveled the world to try to understand and improve uh, the education um, system. In, in the country. So as you can see behind me, uh, people are still coming in. The service is expected to start at 10 o'clock, but this, you would remember that it is a joint memorial service for both uh, Pule Mahwe as well as his uh, protector, William D. Uh, they both uh, passed on on Sunday in that uh, car crash, and we understand that uh, uh, the funeral service of William D will be held on Saturday and the, the official funeral of Tate Mahfou will then take place on Sunday while the driver who was with them on that day is still recovering in the hospital. With that we will go 